Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we will find polygon with largest perimeter. Although we have discussed this problem last last month only in our discussion of weekly and bi-weekly contest. I forgot which one the contest was, but yeah, we have discussed that problem. But I myself could not find that video out. It was for sure in a live stream. So that's the reason I'm making this video again because myself, if I cannot find my own video on YouTube, then how can you find? So yeah, this is a separate video of this question. So this says that you are given a positive integer nums of length n. Now, basically this positive integer nums, it is of length n, which means I have n. Now let's say here n is 5, so I have 5 numbers written. Now what these 5 numbers represent, I'll tell you later on. But yeah, I have just some positive integers. Remember, it is all. All integers are starting from 1. Now, a polygon is a closed plane figure that has at least 3 sides. As you know, triangle is the smallest polygon. Then we have square, then we have pentagon and so on and so forth. Pentagon, yeah. And so on and so forth. Then hexagon and so on and so forth, yeah. This is like we have polygons. Okay, great. The long and what is the property of a polygon? And the property lies for, as you have seen in the recent of our videos, in which we, in which we discussed, there is a property of a triangle. What is the property of a triangle? That the longest side of a triangle or a polygon is smaller than the sum of the other sides. So, this property is not only valid for triangle, but also for all the polygons. That the longest side, which means let's say if I name the sides as A1, A2, A3 and A4. If I sort these sides, then let's say if I, after sorting it becomes a1 a2 a3 and a4 so sum of smaller three sides should be more than my four side fourth side which is the longest side again i have represented after sorting it this is the property of a polygon which you should remember no matter what if it is given or not in the interview you should remember that it is a property of polygon remember this do whatever you want but remember this now uh he just explained the same thing that uh, sum of smaller again if i want to make a polygon of k sides so sum of smaller k minus one sides should be more than so again sum of smaller k minus one sides these are the small again i have sorted them as you can see a1 a2 it is all sorted all sorted then the sum of smaller k minus one sides should be more than my k which is the largest side so I can also represent, okay, this was my input array nums. This all represents sides and this is the length, kind of length of this polygon. Let's say I have polygon of length 5. Now I know that I have to simply sort it down and then I have to start working on that. Okay, I'll simply sort it down. Again, it's just an intuition of sorting it down. That is one part of your intuition that okay you can just simply sort it down and then you might have to search for okay some of small sides should be more than your largest side which you will take okay great now he defines what is a perimeter a perimeter is the sum of the lengths of a, of the sides of a polygon which you are taking now we have to return the largest possible perimeter of a polygon whose sides can be formed from the nums so nums is just okay nums is just a group you have like nums is a kind of a group which they have given to you and now from that group you have okay let's say it has n n it has n lengths so you can choose let's say k lengths from this and make a k sized polygon so you have to tell what is the maximum perimeter basically the largest possible perimeter perimeter is the sum of those k sides which you can form you have to just re re return that now a very basic thing which should or can come to your mind is okay if i take the perimeter of let's say a1 a2 a3 right now if i add one more side and i know all sides i know all sides have positive length so if i add one more side let's say i added a4 so for short the perimeter of more sides will be more right so can't i say one thing that i will try to maximize the number of sides maximizing number of sides will give me more perimeter but make sure make sure you don't start up saying Aryan what if I take a uh, rather than perimeter a1 a2 a3 a4 okay it is great what if I take a5 a6 a7 that will have a sum more than my four sides hold on we will cover this also but if I am saying in general if I take some three sides 
and if I add one more side in that for short the perimeter will increase so I'm adding one more side in that specific club of sides which I have got so I can easily infer that more number of sides is more perimeter okay because I know all the sides length are positive so adding something positive will only and only increase the length adding more number of sides will only increase the length now so one thing we will just check okay Firstly, Aryan, we want to have more number of sides. What is the minimum number of sides which I can have? Minimum sides which I can have is three sides, which is a triangle. I can have three sides. But you know that I have been, I have been given five sides. So it is kind of saying that, okay, out of those five sides, you should choose three sides. And then out of those three sides, okay, get the one which has the maximum perimeter. Okay. And the same way I'll go and choose, okay, four sides out of the five sides then go and choose five sides out of the five sides so this i can this i will end up doing for all the sides for sure this brute force approach is very very high i cannot do it mm, because it's actually like 5c3 is nothing but ncr this is nothing but n factorial upon r factorial to n minus r factorial that's a very high number i cannot do it that is impossible for me to do compute because i can easily see that my n is very large n is 25 I cannot go beyond n log n. That is max. I can do either n or o of n log n. That's it. I cannot do this. So I went back to my question and then I thought of okay. Now, um, uh, I didn't told that okay, uh, we have maybe we can increase the sides, but let's let's try for the first sides, which means let's say I have only three sides. It's a it's a, it's a minimum number of sides which you can have. So again we know that we have sorted it down because it will make our computations easy how easy because we will know okay anything in the left are the smaller sides anything in the right is the larger side so i just need to compare with the right part which is the larger side so again we would have five c3 options i am showing you a couple of options but you can just simply draw it that okay you have to choose out of these five sides you have to choose the three sides so you'll choose a1 a2 and a3 for sure you the, the, all these are sorted so now your aim will be to say is a1 plus a2 which means the sum of small sides if it is more than a larger side if this is true okay L side three three length is possible but Aryan, you didn't want it three length you actually wanted you actually wanted what you actually wanted the perimeter to be larger you you Aryan, you don't want the number of lengths to be like number of sides of this polygon to be max no Aryan, you want the perimeter so are you saying that we can take okay if this is valid are you saying we will take this as the perimeter which means are you saying that a1 plus a2 plus a3 is the perimeter and now we don't need to go to other sides um yes but you have to understand why because Aryan, but in the beginning you told that okay for three sides length which means for for a polygon of three sides you will have five c3 number for operations which means ncr number of um, options to take then for sure if i take a bigger length which means if i take some different sides i will have for sure more perimeter which means if i take a1 a3 and a4 so if i just end up verifying that okay a1 plus a3 if it is more than a4 then my perimeter will become a1 plus a3 plus a4 which is for sure more than this then you are wrong uh hold on if i take this a1 and a3 and a4 which means a1 plus a3 if i am able to prove it is more than a4 then can't i do one thing can't i add a2 in between can't i add a2 in between and still it will be more than my a4 right if I add an A2 in between, will it not be still more than equal to my A4? Now, if it is still more than equal to my A4, can't I say it is same as saying A1 plus A2 plus A3 if it is more than A4, which means it is now saying I have four sides. I have four sides because ultimately, number of sides didn't matter to you. You mattered the perimeter and for sure, the perimeter of A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4, it is more than A1 plus A3 plus A4. Ah, so, Ah, that is good Aryan that I can just simply consider this part which means a1 plus a2 plus a3 and then it, it will consider my three length then if in the three length also if I want to consider a1 plus a3 plus a4 then I can simply say maybe when I will try for the four sides which means when I will try for the four sides then I can consider a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 which means a1 plus a2 plus a3 more than equal to a4 then even if still a1 
a1 plus a3 is more than a4 then if i even add a2 in between which is in the smaller end it will only increase the sum this part will only increase so it will actually say just add a2 also in your perimeter oh that's actually the main crux that why you would not need to go and try for all the possible variations which means let's say we take one more example we will have again we wanted three sides we wanted three sides so maybe we end up taking a1 a3 and a5 as three sides out of those n five sides then i will simply end up proving or i have to prove a1 plus a3 if it is more than my a5 then i can take this as a perimeter but now i say hold on bro if you add a2 and a a4 in this also then for sure if this was a1 plus a3 if it is more than a5 then adding two more things two more positive things will still be more than a5 then i can simply say now this is also true if this is also true i can simply i am referring simply five sides that is that you never have to go while consider three sides while considering three sides you will never have to go on to all these variations just go on the starting three take the sum of the previous two it should be more than the third element and if it is true i can take this as one of my perimeter sums now again i will again this, this is i tried for three length i will try for the four length now in which i will take four elements again i i proved that that whatsoever you must be trying whatsoever you must be trying for length three that can that i can easily consider for length four or length five i can easily consider those possible options in my length four or length five so i don't have to try for all the possible all the possible combination i don't i don't have to try that because i can easily consider those in the bigger lens so i will simply do okay length four, length is four i consider this length four in which see when i consider i mean that sum of smaller lengths should be larger than my largest length which is a4 and it is so sorted so i just need to take my prefix sums again you can also tell the interviewer that i will i will at every length which means at every possible number of sides let's say four sides five sides i'll keep on getting a sum but then improvisation of that getting a sum is nothing but taking a prefix sum so i'll take the prefix sum so i simply i just want a1 plus a2 plus a3 which should be more than more than my a4 and here i wanted a1 plus a2 should be more than my a3 so a1 plus a2 okay then a1 plus a2 plus a3 okay then a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 so you saw that okay if this is a sum i can simply add a a4 and get a next length sum and then compare with the fifth element so it is nothing but comparing ith index element with the prefix sum of i minus 1th index that's it and that's how that's how we optimized our complexity from exponential which means using ncr and stuff uh, you can also say factorial to actually start getting maybe n square which means i again i optimize that but still you might end up telling interviewer that okay i can take this sum again and again again and again again and again for every possible number of sides but then i can see that the sum is kind of having a prefix sum pattern so rather than taking a new sum again and again i can take a simple prefix sum so in this you can easily go linearly and take the prefix sum a1 plus a2 compare with a3 then add a3 in that existing sum compare with a4 then add a4 in the existing sum compare with a5 and just keep on getting the maximum maximum possible maximum possible sum maximum possible sum which means the perimeter of the perimeter of the what your polygon and perimeter is nothing but your sum plus your a5 your sum whatsoever you have been getting you have been getting the prefix sum plus your a5 is actually the perimeter so simple as simple as that i will again i will have to firstly sort my input so as to make everything my life should be easy i'll simply sort it down now I will take the prefix sum as the starting two elements because I know a polygon will start with a side is three, which is a triangle. It is the smallest polygon. So I need to, I I'll for sure can say that my minimum, minimum length is three sides. For that, I need to take my prefix sum as two element. Starting starting two elements, which is A1 and A2. So I'll just take num0 and num1 and starting two elements. Now, answer is the maximum answer, maximum perimeter which I want to get. I'll simply go on and try from the third side, which is index equal to two, up till the size of my input. Now, if my prefix sum, 
if it is more than my nums of i same way saying my prefix sum if it is more than my nums of i bro it is actually a great polygon simply update the answer with the maximum parameter what is the maximum parameter your parameter is nothing but this is the prefix sum this is your a of i which is nums of i simply prefix sum plus nums of i is actually your parameter so i'll simply say that i'll update my answer with answer comma prefix sum plus nums of i that's your parameter for this specific uh, number of sides then i know that okay for the next operation for the next operation in the existing prefix sum i need to add my nums of i this will become my new prefix sum so i'll just simply say that okay my new prefix sum is nothing but prefix sum plus my nums of i is my new prefix sum for next operation and thus i will be getting my answer and again uh, in the worst case if answer is zero which means no possible polygon can be formed so simply return a minus one else you will end up getting the maximum parameter now you should be understanding how we link number of sides with the maximum parameter then from that maximum parameter how we end up taking uh, the length three as an example which means three sides three sides as, a, as an example of perimeter and then how we end up deriving that we only need just starting prefix portion which will help us reduce the complexity by a lot and then we actually optimize by taking a prefix sum concept to actually keep on storing the sums also cool thanks for watching see you goodbye take care and yeah again the complexity as we have data sorting is o of n log n and o of n to iterate which means this portion is o of n and this portion is o of n log n now uh, for again the by default sorting algorithm uh, in c++ and java it takes o of log n time sorry o of log n space while in python it takes o of n space and apart from that no other extra space is used by us so yeah that's pretty much it thanks so much for watching see you goodbye take care bye bye